The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video I'll be reviewing this. This is Transformers Generation Select Lob Claw, also known as Nautilator in the US. Now this is a Takara Tommy Mall exclusive, but I got this one from Hasbro Pulse, which comes in this outer box. So it says here, authentic Takara Tommy Mall product as sold in Japan. Again, nothing really special on the box. Tells you includes figure, three accessories, and instructions. Let's take it out. Comes in this box with this nice sleeve and line art of Lob Claw. In the bottom of the box. And the back. And the top. Okay, let's take the sleeve out. Nice plain cardboard box with the Decepticon logo. Again. Very plain. I don't know. Kind of doing it fast, but it's just pretty plain. And let's see what we got inside. Very cool. Nice. I, I'm loving the the beast modes for these C cons. So okay, let's get this guy out of the package. Here is Generation Selects Lob Claw out of the package, and I think I. I mispronounced his name as Lob Claw, but it is Lob Claw, uh, also known as Nautiler in the US. And he comes here with his instruction sheet on glossy paper. Let's put that aside. He comes with the Siacon hand, the new hand design, which if you saw in my prior reviews, you know that I really like. Let's put that aside. Comes with his gun. Oddly enough, the gun has no paint detail. Um, the other Seacon's guns did, well, I, I don't think the Turtler did, but um, yeah, his doesn't have any paint detail, unfortunately. He also comes with his axe with nice, uh, slight tinge of pink on the metallic paint. It's very cool. And Lob Clo himself in beast mode and he looks kind of interesting i gotta say not my favorite beast mode out of all the sea cons i mean he's supposed to look like a lobster um doesn't exactly tab in well like you can see over here this easily comes out and the little slot for this to tab in doesn't really do much if you ask me so that's just one downer of the design but I mean, in beast mode, it looks pretty cool. I mean, there's enough color variation in paint apps on him, as you can see. Now he has these claws, which kind of open and close, but this is really transformation. Um, for the mouth, there is articulation. If I can open it up, you can see it does open. It's a nice touch that it's painted on the inside. As you can see, that's kind of cool. But uh, the, the head seems to just hang there. I, I don't know if, well, this is from out of the box, so I, I'm not sure. Yeah, it just seems to hang there. It's not exactly locked in, similar to how this is not locked in as well. Um, now in beast mode, as far as articulation goes, um, it's pretty much his arms can articulate and the claws that is pretty much it i mean as well as the, the mouth but these legs are pretty fixed they don't move they're not on ball joints or anything but uh like i said not my favorite seacon at out of the bunch in, in in his beast mode so i know you can attach different weapons like and this piece i guess i mean if you wanted to you can Put it in here or like this. Oops, I think I got it backwards. Right there. Not exactly the best. And you could attach the the fist like this on the back here. I don't know. I don't really like all the weapons attached to him in this mode. It just does it just doesn't seem um it just doesn't seem right for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much him in his beast mode. And 
I, like I said, he's not my favorite so far out of all the Seacons, but um, you know, I, I I think he's good enough. It's just, yeah, this part just keeps getting unhooked or untabbed here. But um, other than that, I mean, he looks okay. It this this is probably the most obvious retool or, or forced retool uh, character to make him into this little lobster. He does have some nice paint apps here. I like that. Okay, right, I know I'm kind of being negative about him, but I think the other Seacons are so much better than this figure, in, in my humble opinion. Oh yeah, for some size comparisons, here he is next to Earthrise Optimus Prime. Let's see him. Pretty big lobster here. Here he is next to a Cyberverse Sharkticon or Gnaw. I think they kind of match pretty well together. And here he is next to Earthrise Starscream. Oh yeah, to transform Lob Clo, it's not that difficult. Let's remove the tail. And we're gonna start on the legs first. Now this part, I would say, be very careful. It seems like the plastic here is very soft. And I could see a little bit of stress marks just from it having some stress going this way. So there's a tendency to, to rotate or to flip this from here. But when you do that, you put stress on here and it doesn't seem that strong. So what I kind of recommend is if you're, when you're transforming this guy, Hold this area to manipulate the legs because I just have this feeling that it's going to break um, if you don't. So if you hold this area, you're gonna prevent this because there's nothing. Uh, this is not pinned down, so it can easily bend. So let's put the legs. Rotate this. There you go. Do the same rotate it down and tab it in and then like you said in here hold the leg hold this part down and then bring that there so you don't put undue stress because if you pull this you, you might do you, you might put stress on this part of the figure so that's what i like to do i don't know maybe it's just my figure but it seems like you can kind of tell it's bending a bit from the transformations i've done prior okay Enough of that, let's flip this part of the legs out like so, so we can extend it and then flip them back in. And then we're going to separate the legs. There we go. Now rotate the waist, bring the arms, flip the claws in to reveal the fists. Do the same on the other side and then this part pretty much just comes out there you go and it tabs into here okay let's rotate the head and there you have lob clo in his robot mode now his tail does become a weapon so you basically flip it and you have a little gun here but unfortunately there's no there's not enough storage for it i mean i guess you could do this sort of or i don't know you can put this gun here this axe here there's no real nice place to put this weapon if you know of one please let me know and if i put it on the back it just makes it protrude so much so i kind of like this gun better so i'm going to put this aside so i guess you have a choice between guns if you like this one, you can use this one instead. Be kind of cool if there was a little peg here, I mean a, a little hole here so you can kind of combine these two, but uh, that is not the case. I'll take a closer look at the figure in robot mode. Take a look at the head. I love the head sculpt and the paint. Something with black, red, and gold I really like. The chest over here, some gray paint apps. Now, he has this articulation. I guess when you're in the lobster mode, you can extend it. But um, out of package, mine was not like that. A little nice touch. 
some paint detail on the arms. I, it's kind of hard to tell, but uh, this part of the arm is a little is a is this color. So it's very on camera. It doesn't really show as much. And on the lower legs here, again, nice molded detail as well. And then on the back. All in all, very nice looking figure. It's just for me, the beast mode or fish mode, it's not that great. I, I wish things locked in more. I wish this was a better design because uh, I know there's gonna be a lot of wear on this as if, if I keep transforming it. But all in all, still a very nice figure. Okay, for articulation, the head can rotate to 60. The arm is on a ball joint. It's rotate 360. This part is on a ball joint so you can bend here but you also can rotate 360. No wrist articulation. Waist can rotate 360. You can kick this much, bend this much, kick this far back and he can kind of do the splits. Very cool. Again it's not as articulated as Siege but for what this is, I think it has enough articulation for me. And for some size comparisons, here he is next to Earthrise Optimus Prime. Here he is next to Siege Blue Streak. And here he is next to Kickback. So for my final thoughts on Generation Selects Laplo, out of all the Seacons, he's probably my least favorite. Uh, mainly for the beast mode and the way this part of the legs transform doesn't seem sturdy enough. Now, the robot mode, I like it a lot. It looks really cool. I think it looks great in robot mode. Um, the I issue I have with the weapon storage, it, it'd be nice if this could fit on him. Um, kind of like it when the weapons can all go on the figure. The, the hand is not, not much of a big deal for me. I, I don't really care if the hand can go on the figure, but it's nice, like if I have two weapons, it'd be nice for him to hold them all. Or I actually hold them all in a nice way. I, technically, he could, he could peg this into one of the holes that are available, but to me, it just looks off. So for me, you know, while he has his faults, I, I do need him to complete the C-Cons. Um, the robot mode, again, I said is great for me, but uh, I just wish the beast mode was a little bit better or at least a little more sturdy. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Follow us on social media, and check out our Discord. Links in the description below.